It's Nick here. I'm going to show you how to make an alcohol stove out of some soda cans. Okay, here's an example of a stove I've made previously. It's an open jet alcohol stove. And that's what we're going to be making today. Okay, these are the materials you're going to need. Soda cans, at least two, some needle nose pliers, razor blade, that kind or this kind of work. Um, I'm going to be using a Dremel. If you don't have a Dremel tool, you can use a needle or a pin. Try to get one that's sturdy. And you'll need a wood block, or I'm going to be using this little uh, wooden box because it just happens to be the right size. It's one and five-eighths inches tall. Okay, what you want to do is take your razor blade Set it on the edge of the box there, and you take your soda can, make sure the razor blade is touching the soda can, and turn it like that. And you're just going to score a line around this soda can. Let's so go around a few times, get this score deep enough to where you can break the top of the can off without having to use scissors or anything. use your razor blade to start the hole a little bit and then you can pretty much just take your fingers and push in on that push in on this top part because we're gonna save this bottom part for the stove you don't want to bend that up too bad there you go still got some liquid in there okay do that to your first can then you're going to do it to your second can. And on this one, I took some sandpaper and got rid of the Mountain Dew paint on here so that my alcohol stove will not have any label on it or anything. Now that one came out a little more rough. So it's important to score a straight line so you don't get these jags here. Let's see if I can get rid of some of these. Anyway, if you want, you can uh, clean it up with a file, some scissors, whatever floats your boat. So take your razor blade and the part of that can you already cut and score a line around the top. This one doesn't have to be too straight. Okay. Then cut, score a perpendicular line going down like that. Then you can just kind of bend this and it'll break apart. Then take your razor blade, kind of start a cut in this circular line. And then you can just basically peel that away. Just a flat piece from the rest of one of the cans. And this is going to make the inside wall for the alcohol stove here. Okay, so you want to take that inside piece that's going to make the inner wall that we just cut out. And I took a Sharpie and I marked it, um, that's two inches tall right there. So the next step is to lay it flat and I'm going to take a big old aluminum ruler here. Okay. I'm going to score along that line I drew right at 2 inches. Now, you probably want to do this on a cutting board, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to do it right here on my table and I'm going to be very careful. But normally, do it on a cutting board and that way your wife won't get mad at you or your mom or wherever you live. Okay. 
score that one more time. I think I did it a little bit crooked. Once you've scored your line on one of the edges, you can take this and just fold it a little bit. And then it'll just start to break away. And you can pretty much just peel that up back. Oops. I started going into the can, but that'll be fine there. What you want to do we're going to be cutting a slit on this side of the, this piece and this side and then we're going to lock them together but we want to measure the size that we need them and it needs to be exactly as round, as big around as the inside of this uh, can here so we need to stick it in here and measure, I usually just I don't use any exact measurements. I just kind of eyeball it and it works pretty good. So there. That's about the size I want. It fits perfectly around this bottom part of the can. And that's exactly how big I want it. Then I'm going to take my scissors. Now on the part that overlaps where I'm holding it here, I want to make a little nick on the on this end and then directly above it on the other end right up here just gonna kinda eyeball it now that tells me where I'm gonna cut my slits and I just wanna cut this slit about halfway up see it goes about halfway up and then I made my other neck mark over here cut about halfway up okay there now that is gonna stay together and it will fit right there on the inside of the can Next step is to cut um, three little square slots on the bottom where the alcohol is going to seep through to the outer chamber of this jet stove. So I'm going to cut just two little cuts about a quarter of an inch up and then you can take where you cut. And just fold them up. Just like that. And try to evenly space these and you want three or four. I guess you could do with two. Okay, now I'm gonna get rid of this excess flap here. Just cut that like that. And that is going to make the inner wall of the alcohol stove. Okay, for this next step, we're going to take some petroleum jelly and rub it on the outside of this unopened can. That way it's firm. And we're going to use that to stretch out this portion of the alcohol stove so that this portion will fit inside of it. Just take some petroleum jelly, just about that much and rub it on the outside of this can and it's best not to use a cold can in my opinion because the petroleum jelly kind of hardens and then it doesn't work as good so just get it all lubed up there. okay so what I did was I used this full can of soda and I, I got right over it and pushed down with both hands you know, three or four times to slightly stretch out uh, this portion of the can we're going to be using for the alcohol stove. So we don't need this anymore. 
this is stretched out slightly. Now you can do a couple of things. We need to cut out this part here. You can either use a razor blade and just score around here. I go around it about five times, try to get a pretty deep score. And then I use like a nail and a hammer to puncture through here. Um, what I did is I just took this, scored around this edge, and then what I did is I kind of cut some crisscross marks, almost like a pizza, right in there. And then you can take your needle nose pliers and it, it'll it break out in sections where you scored. And you want to be careful, make sure you don't mess up this edge here. I'll finish uh, breaking these out and then show you the next step. Okay, so I've cut out the top here. This is the top part of the alcohol stove. This is going to be the bottom. This will fit inside the bottom. You can see since I've stretched it, they're starting to fit. Now if you can't get it to fit right, one little trick that I've found that helps is to take some needle nose pliers and just at the very edge of this, kind of every fourth of an inch, bend it down like that. That will help it to fit in better. So it makes it look like that. Actually, I like to do it this way. I like to fit this around the inner ring of this top part because that's what you want to fit in there for sure. And it'll automatically just go over that part. But this part, it needs to be inside this ring. And you don't want it coming out like like that, for example, you want it to be right in there. Kind of hold it, and it should stay if you do it right. Then you can get like a piece of wood or a book, something to just help you push down on this evenly. I'm going to use my little box here. Kind of turn it so you make sure it's seated evenly in there on each side. And this is what we've got so far. Okay, so what I've done here is I've marked, I like to have two rows of uh, burners on my stove. You can see here, I kind of, you know, I have one row and then I have a bottom row that's in between the top row, if you get what I'm saying. I've marked these here. I've got eight holes on the top row, eight holes on the bottom row, total of 16 holes or 16, I guess, jets where the flames are going to be coming out. And I've got this little micro drill bit here. This is a 0.75 millimeter drill bit here. You know, that's about the size of a needle. So if you don't have a Dremel, you can just poke a needle through. That's the pattern I use. Okay, so this is finished. But that's it. That's how to make an alcohol stove.